Hello, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb edition here with Grimord. It's been a few days since I did a video, um, done a video, sorry, but really with work and stuff like that, it's, it's quite difficult for myself because I work three 12 hour days and then four days off. So on the three 12 hour days, it is quite difficult, but what I'm planning on doing is maybe pre recording a few videos, um, same as this with the live commentary, and then just uploading them prior to me going to work, so it's still a video a day. Uh, like I said, I think the main main thing I need to be doing is building up a a record of you know a lot of videos on there to get the subscribers in and that sort of thing and, and get you guys really with the videos. So what I'm going to do for you is carry on with where we left off. Really, that we defeated Mum last time. I'm um, going to push for Mum's heart this time. Really, so yeah, we'll just go through it now. So hopefully we'll have a, a good run. We're starting to unlock some better items as standard, which is quite nice. Like I said in earlier videos, you kind of take for granted some of the items which you get commonly after a certain point, like your polyphemuses and stuff like that. We we'll get speed up here with the belt. So yeah, we'll just trawl through and see what we can do. Hopefully it's going to be as good as the last run. Trading bomb there for five bucks. Ah, that was poor. Done it there. Hopefully we get another bomb because that was really bullshit in there. So we have another bomb. We have to go out the self-sacrifice room just to try and get some. Spirit heart, that was really worth it. And that wasn't I big mistake there, but oh well. Like I say, so close now, it's just teasing. But we'll carry on. Wasted two spirit hearts as well. Three on one stroke. Should be nice and easy. Keep him close to him. I like to keep him close to him because he usually seems to not spit as much if you keep close to him. I might be wrong in thinking that, but from what I've got, if you stay quite close, he doesn't seem to jump or spit as much, which is quite handy. A bit too close there, but. Yeah, like I say, that might be a, a wrong theory, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but this seems to be something I've noticed. I don't worry too much about health. Make a few silly mistakes early on with health. Obviously, it was a range upgrade there. But on your first level, it doesn't matter too much as long as you lose no more than kind of one heart of health. I really should be trying to concentrate more, but. It has been a little while since I played the Binding of Isaac, so that is also going to be, yeah, going to be apparent in the video, let's say. We'll go on here. I'm more use the pill, I like to use pills, although it's frustrating when that happens, especially with tears down. It's fun to have. I'm going to get in here and kill these heads. Okay. Goat's Hoof, which is a damage upgrade, is a nice upgrade there. A nice, um, Accessories have trinket. Let's just get right around here with these guys. So we get the whole head now. And that's the key we need to go into the item room this time around, so obviously make, make that happen. Without this fire before any of these jumpers have any chance to go in into them, because then they become to kill. I'm not really seeing the goat's hoof effect too much here. It's silly dodging again for me. It's very apparent that I'm not playing for a little while, but here we're coming with the scapula as well. Sorry about that, that might have seemed a seamless a seamless transition to yourselves, but I, this is how um used to doing let's play in YouTube videos I am I've actually had my pizza get burnt, which is great because I completely forgot who was in. Uh, the plan was to have lunch before I did this video, but hey, anyway, I will ignore that. Let's talk about how well pills pills work. I mean, it's just not really too much luck here, are we? Trying to cool. get caught. Lucky. Oh, I thought he was gone. So I'm gonna slow it down a bit. Got to be excited from burnt pizza. Uh, and downstairs and now out of breath. So. I don't know if I want to use this pill, but then we have had two bad ones already, so odds are in our favour. I'm going to go with it. 
Yes, that was not too bad. Process of elimination and all that. So we're going to face Gemini here. So it shouldn't be too bad. So I've got two speed upgrades, but yeah, nice and easy here. And like I say, we're just kind of hoping for well, whatever comes really at the minute. We haven't had a, a great run. I did pick up Scapula, which like I say, you should have should have noticed happening. Um, the result of Scapula, I got Spirit Heart there, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty kind of in the know of what items do and that sort of thing there. I used the wiki quite a lot early on, and I would recommend it up to a point. It is quite nice to have, but then I do feel that some of the surprise is actually what the items do in the Binding of Isaac. Um, let's try to kill this guy here. He's lacking some damage, really. Um, more short speed, one or the other. Health and Jesus juice. Be quite nice. Talking of short speed. The cart of juice around the mouth. So yeah, what I'd like is from the subscribers again is kind of I've got a few games in mind which I want to do some let's plays of. One of them being FTL, I think I mentioned. Um, which is a roguelike. I know a lot of people don't like seeing roguelikes for whatever reason. But I would like to um to, to, to use it and it's, like I said at the start I'm going to do games which are fun for me I'm not going to not do a game just because you know a few of my people watching the videos don't like it because at the end of the day you don't have to watch that video if you don't like it you don't have to watch it so it's not too difficult just to skip the ones which you don't like it's, you're just going to sit there and complain on the comments it's not really not really fair, but it's a poor my room. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that roguelike, like I say, um, alongside. Probably, I don't see. I'm, I'm, I'm having some trouble. I'm stuck here. Um, having some trouble with what items to do because uh, what games to do. I've got Guild Wars, which I wouldn't mind doing a let's play of, depending on what you guys think. Uh, Borderlands 2 as well, I would love to do a let's play of that, but again, it depends on what you guys think. I want to try and keep up and coming games, new games and indie games, kind of a, a running theme through the, the channel, but that's not always going to be the case. There are going to be some games where maybe they're not so indie or there's no real theme to them, but... Um, yeah, just kind of thinking about it. There's a few, uh, well, as you may or may not know about the Humble Indie Bundle, there's a, a few games in that. Um, guy here. I killed myself there. Um, how long was that run? That's probably about 10 minutes altogether. What we're going to do is. I'll just have a quick chat over this while, um, while we go through, just to explain. I won't explain what I was going to do. So, yeah, the Humble Indie Bundle, really, really good project. Um, you probably heard of heard of it, or if not heard of certain things which are quite similar. Uh, Steam do an indie bundle, and there's another another one going around which is independent as well. And it consists of well, this one has got quite a few games. I think it's eight games in total. So you have the eight games, and it's. Um, you know, a few, well, a few of them. Space Pirates and Zombies, really, really good game. Um, you've got Torchlight, the first one in there. And you can pay however much you want. So, what you can do is, is, is how you want to play it. You can pay, you know, $10 for all of them. You can pay $5. You can pay $1 if you want to. I would recommend, obviously, looking at the games and seeing what you would, would want to pay for them. And, and go from there. Um, I think ten dollars is a snip for about eight indie games. You, you know, Torchlight and Spaz is going to cost that. I think it's eighty-six dollars worth of games in total. So um, it's definitely worth doing. And there's a few. I bought a few other ones of them. Like I've got Super Meat Boy, Limbo, all these sort of indie games. And I might possibly get. Well, I think I will get this one. And depending on what you guys say, I might um, incorporate that into some some let's plays as well. Um, like I said, I really like Space Pirates and Zombies. Torchlight, probably not going to play that um, on 
on um, a Let's Play series because I'm going to play Torchlight 2 very, very soon in about a day's time. So that's going to be good. But yeah, for, for you guys, like I say, keep letting me know what you guys want to see. I haven't got many subscribers at the minute, so it's not not massively important. A few guys from from my workplace in the, the gaming community there is, have joined us, so um, hopefully they can spread some some words and give us some feedback and you guys give me feedback as well and this was a very poor run so yeah that's not great but um, like I say I'll probably do another couple of videos uh, after this one I'll upload this one straight away and you may see another one today if not you'll see one every day up until up until Monday for definite and then I'm back in work Monday where like I say hopefully I'll get a video to upload for you guys so you're still getting videos uh, but that's it for now anyway, and like I say, we'll carry on with this uh, next time. Thanks for watching, guys.